Hello friends. Now we'll be discussing about cholangiocarcinoma. So before starting, I would like to thank Chandana Shri ma'am for sharing the wonderful notes with us. The link for the notes is given in the description below. And these are very helpful for revision. And so let's get started. So cholangiocarcinoma. Cholangiocarcinoma is the primary malignancy of the cholangiocytes. That is the uh, cells of the bile duct, cholangiocyte, epithelial lining of the biliary tree. The types, it could be intrahepatic, which is around 10% and extrahepatic, which is rest 90%. The extrahepatic is divided into proximal or distal. The proximal is also known as, as hilar or clad skin, which accounts for 60% and distal, which accounts for 30%. It is also managed as periampillary carcinoma. So in the diagram, we can see this is the first is the intrahepatic part. The second is the hilar or the proximal part and this this fast is the distal part. Pathological types, it could be exopytic, which is mostly the intrahepatic, infiltrative, sclerosing or periductal, which is most commonly the hilar one. Then nodular, polypoid, polypoid is the distal cholangiocarcinoma. Intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma is the second most, second most common liver primary malignancy after HCC. So, First is HCC, second is intrahepatic CC, which is the primary liver malignancy. What are the predisposing factors? So, liver hepatolithiasis, liver may stone, 10% develop into cholangiocarcinoma. 70% of the intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma have hepatolithiasis. So, it is correlatable. Then, chirolase disease, viral hepatitis, HBV and HCC, HCV. How does these present? Generally detected incidentally, non specific features like mask per abdomen, hilar involvement may produce as obstructive jaundice, evaluation of the mass, exophyting mass, which is when generally large when detected, through the CT scan, CECT, hypovascular lesion with central necrosis, differentiated with HCC with help of alpha fetoprotein, which is normal, and CA99, which is elevated, liver mets with no other primary, management, if curative resection is feasible, then it's a good chance for survival. Unresectability, multiple liver meds, distant meds, vascular involvement, main portal vein, meds to the celiac or the retroperitoneal nodes, small satellite nodules are fine but they have poor prognosis. Now we come to the proximal hilar cholangiocarcinoma or the clad skin tumor. So we have a bismuth correlate classification. The one is away from the confluence, two is at the confluence. 3 is involving the right duct, 3A is involving the right duct and 3B is involving the left duct, 4 is involving both the ducts and 5 is involving multiple segment. So what are the risk factors in this? Risk factors for development of hilar cholangiocarcinoma. So PSC that is primary sclerosing cholangitis which has up to 40% chance of cholangiocarcinoma and in setting these are usually unresectable and usually multifocal in the age of 30 to 50 years of age. Chirolase disease, <coughs> that is intrahepatic cholidocal cyst, risk of 15 to 20 percent chance of cholangiocarcinoma, bile duct adenoma, papillomatosis, thorotrast, which is a contrast, parasites, optos, opistorchis, viverini. Presentation is obstructive jaundice in most of the cases associated with cholangitis, features of cholangitis, pentarch triad. Then evaluation will be LFT, obstructive jaundice, increased bilirubin, direct bilirubin, CA99, which will be increasing progressively. USG obstruction, which will show invasion and encasement of the portal vein. MRCP, which will give us the biliary anatomy, atrophy and hypertrophy complex. CT, FDG PET for distal meds, ERCP for brush cytology. Even it will be helpful for uh, biliary drainage with help of stenting, ERCP and stenting. Treatment would be if it is resectable, we'll go for in-block hepatectomy with biliary enteric anastomosis. If needed, pre-op biliary drainage with help of PTBD, which stands for prehepatic uh, percutaneous transhepatic biliary drainage, which is an interventional radiological procedure done by the uh, interventional radiologist. And it is to be considered when the functional liver reserve is less than 30% and if portal vein embolization is planned, even then, if needed, liver transplant and there is no proven role of chemo or radiotherapy in cholangiocarcinoma. 
so this was all about cholangiocarcinoma hope it has been understood and it will be helpful for revision so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe keep studying keep growing and see you in next video thank you